Hello, my name is Jackson Steiner, and welcome to the first edition of the Steiner Section. Today we'll begin with the quote of the day. It's no good being stuck on the past. The past can hurt a lot. However, you have to learn from it and continue to live in the present. That is a quote from APRW owner Unstable Ken. Speaking of APRW, let's get straight into the news on the Steiner Section. The Gym of Acceleration has officially brought a new design. This features new statues and a whole new atmosphere for the winter season. Admins are, are currently being scouted for the gym as well. Moving from one fit to another, AXW has officially announced Starcade for December 27th, 2020. This event is undoubtedly one of the biggest the Federation has ever promoted, standing at 74 likes on Twitter. Spartan Stage Diver is planning on launching a new clothing stand for his production studio, Castaway Productions. Now, the clothing seems to be primarily focused on stages. Hey guys, so in this section of the Steiner section, we're going to also be reviewing a different type of Roblox wrestling, and it's on the football field. Origin CA and RE11 recently started a football league for road wrestlers only, the RWFL. All games take place in a game on Roblox known as Football Fusion. The teams in the league are as followed by their draft number pick. The Eagles, the Buccaneers, the Raiders, Washington football team, the Vikings, the Ravens, the Dolphins, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Week 1 was wrapped up on Monday, so here is the Week 1 results for the first season of the RWFL. The kickoff game saw the Eagles defeat the Raiders in a 72-65 game. In my opinion, the most entertaining game of Week 1. The Ravens picked up the win against the Steelers in a 45-27 game, showing the Steelers may not be good seeing they got the last pick of the draft. The Vikings lost to Washington football team in 25-80. The Vikings aren't looking too good for the first week. Will it project for how they go for the rest of the season? And the Dolphins took a massive loss to the Tampa Buccaneers in a 30-102 destruction. Now, the final game had some controversy where Dolphins owner DJ was low on players and brought in a public player for the game. This is breaking the rules of RWFL because they are not in the community of Roblox Wrestling. The actions of DJ costed him a one game suspension. Now, what we can take away from week one is the Dolphins and the Vikings are definitely in the final two of all the power rankings from RWFL's media analysts and showing that the Buccaneers are going to destroy this league. Man, now, that's all my coverage for week one of the all-new RWFL. A Twitter exchange between Road Wrestlers Alex Rhodes and Asher Abaddon was brought to our attention about ORW. Alex Rhodes sent a tweet asking if ORW was back. Asher Abaddon replied and said the following, SDR is hinting it may come back on his group as well as creating a Twitter for it again. I'm going to assume he may bring it back after APRW Mania. Then Asher showing screenshots of the ORW group and the newly created ORW Twitter. Once we get more information on this story, we will have it right here for you on the Steiner section. As recording this episode of the Steiner section, week two of the RWFL has just wrapped and we have the details for you. So here is the results of week two of the Roblox Wrestling Football League. The Ravens defeated the Raiders in a 49-39 score. The Eagles defeated the Steelers in a score of 62-55. Even though the Eagles won, which makes them 2-0, the Eagles defense was not looking too good, leading speculation around the league if the Eagles aren't as good as everyone thought them to be. In a match that everyone predicted to be a dumpster fire of a game, the Vikings took the L against the Dolphins in a game of 13-46. And this one is not a surprise. In a score of 14-52, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Washington football team. Now, here's what we can really take away from week two, is that the Eagles are not looking too good. Philadelphia is booked to play the Baltimore Ravens this Saturday, but talks amongst FOs may reschedule to Sunday. Now, that's all the RWFL news this week, and for this episode of the Steiner Section. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of the Steiner Section. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the Roblania Network.